What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Back again today to continue this elk hunting series. We are closing in uh, right at about three weeks out from this elk trip. And I uh, wanted to kind of go through today what I'm gonna be using for my water filtration system out there. We're gonna be out there in the back country for nine or 10 days and really wanted to dial in my water filtration system, read a lot of reviews, reviewed some other products that I used and finally decided on the Sawyer Squeeze. I will go ahead, pull this out here. So this here is what I've decided on and it's the Sawyer Squeeze. Um, I did a few different modifications to it or bought a few extra things to where I could make some modifications, I guess you would say, that just kind of fit my style better. Um, I'm a huge water drinker, even whenever I'm not um, exercising, hunting, whatever it might be, just, you know, sitting around the office, I'm continuously, feels like I'm always thirsty, always drinking water. So water filtration, uh, having plenty of water is something I didn't want to skimp on, especially being at higher altitude. That helps with altitude sickness and just keep myself healthy while I'm out there staying hydrated. Uh, it's going to make me function better, going to make me perform better in the mountains and hopefully close the distance on one of those elk. So we'll dig in here. We'll go through what I've decided to use, what I'm going to take with me. Uh, it comes in this nice little carry package here. I'm just going to pull out the two main things that it comes with as far as your water bags are these, I think these are 32 ounce, yeah, 32 ounce water bags here. Um, and I'll kind of show you something that I'm going to use that I bought separately. Uh, that's going to allow me to filter a little bit more water and then uh, it's also going to allow me to use this as a gravity fed system So I'm going to throw these off to the side for now This is the actual filter unit of the Sawyer squeeze and I'll show you some close-ups of this here in just a little bit But we'll get everything out here that we're going to use today These are the main things that I'm going to be using right here along with one of these squeeze bags this also, you'll notice in here, comes with this large syringe. And I'll do this at the very end, but this is how you backwash the filter and keep the filter cleaned out. You wanna make sure and backwash the filter when you're done so it's not setting in there in your pack uh, with dirty water remnants setting you know, in there, uh, fermenting, I guess, all day long, uh, getting more stagnant. So we'll go through that at the end. It's also got a few other things to where I have the potential if I ever want to um, hook this up to a water bladder. I can screw this on the end of the actual filter, run a tube, and then I can run this directly to my camelback. Uh, I'm probably just going to be using these two items right here. I'm going to be using my large Nalgene. This is a 48, yeah, 48 ounce Nalgene. Be using this. And I'll also have a few of these uh, smart water bottles. These are real nice because these are just ones that you can buy at the gas station or anywhere. But I like these smooth sides on the smart water because like a Dasani or Aquafina, they're kind of kind of more rigid and they're crunchy whenever they go against stuff. Uh, you know, squashed in a pack or something like that. They, they pop and crack and make a lot of noise. The smooth sidewalls on these, these are quiet. So I'm a big fan of these right here. You know, this is what I'm going to use to take the dirty water from this creek right here and we'll squeeze it into um, through the filter into this smart water bottle. All right, so I'm going to first kind of show you the differences between the water bags that come with the actual Sawyer squeeze compared to this Seanock bag that I purchased separately. <clears throat> You'll notice here these do come with a cap, so you take the cap off. This little creek here has a fairly steady stream, so it's, it's going to be easy to fill this. But if you, if you would ever get to a stream or um, more like a pond or something that's a little more uh, non-flowing, a little more stagnant, it's going to be hard to get quite a bit of water to go through this little opening here on the Sawyer Squeeze bags that come with the unit. So you'll notice on this, on the C-Knock, you've got your opening down here at the bottom. You would take that off whenever you're ready to filter the water. But it's got this slide system up here. And this, you can see how big that opening becomes. It's just a lot easier to get quite a bit of water in there and it's gonna flow in there 
a lot better. And these CNOC bags, you'll notice that they're three liters. Uh, they actually hold 96 ounces compared to the ones that come with the unit hold 32 ounces. So I'm gonna mainly be using uh, these bags whenever I go on the elk trip. And this is what I'll be showing you guys today, how to put the dirty water in here. We'll filter it through the squeeze filter into the smart water bottle and uh, kind of show you guys how that, how that works. So you take it here, just gonna open that up, get over to your water source. You can see there, now you've got your dirty water in here. You would take this, put this slide system over the top. It's got some little grooves here, some notches to where you slide your clip directly over the top. It can go only go on in one direction so you can't mess it up. And just like that, that thing's secure and your water's not gonna leak out. So here we have our dirty water. Now, all you would do, turn this upside down. You're gonna unscrew your lid on the CNOC bag. You'll see here on the actual filter, uh, it's very simple. It's got an arrow diagram telling you that the dirty water has to connect on this end. It's gotta flow through the filter this way and the clean water comes out on this end. You just take this. Screw that on. Take your water container, using the smart water bottle here. Squeeze it directly into a clean bladder, um, empty water bottle, another uh, water bag, whatever you want to use, very versatile setup here. Got it about halfway full there just to kind of show you guys. But you can see how quick I got that halfway full. Then you could also, you know, if you're back at camp, take this. I have a carabiner and some 550 cord. If I'm back at camp and I want to get my stove out, get things ready for dinner, I can connect this to a tree branch, um, anything, and turn this into a gravity filter. You just let that hang, connect a bag there, and it's gonna fill up on its own. So you can see how easy that is to get you some good clean water. Perfectly safe to drink. Uh, I think it says it filters out 99.999 .999 continuous um, particles, anything harmful that might be in this water. So pretty excited to be using this unit. And I wanna show you one other thing that we can do is this blue fitting right here that allows you to screw this directly onto a water bottle. That way you could use this kind of as a gravity system as well. You would put this below your filter and then you would have your dirty water bag right here and you could just have it hanging from a tree. Wouldn't have to squeeze it, no hands on. It's gonna gravity feed and filter out itself. So. That's a very cheap product. I'll make sure and link all this stuff down below so you guys can take a look at it there and uh, purchase it through those links. But pretty nice setup. Just want it to be kind of flexible, um, you know, depending on where I'm at during the time of the hunt and, you know, what else I'm going to be doing. So now after you're done filling up your water bottle, your other bladder, whatever it might be, you always want to fill your syringe up with clean water. Make sure you're not just sucking it straight out of the creek, getting more dirty water in it. And you're actually going to reverse it this time. You take this cap off of your clean end. And then all you're going to do is you want to use clean water and force. You push this through pretty hard. So you want to blow all the nasty stuff out the other end. Pretty simple. It doesn't thread on or anything. You just kind of put it right up there next to it. You're going to hold on to it. And you want to, you want to give it a pretty good shot. Pretty vigorous push. 
not like it's going to squirt out and go everywhere but you can see it kind of even though i was pushing pretty hard it's getting it back through that micron filter in there and pushing all the debris the sediment out the other end and it says to do this several times i think just to play it safe i'll probably do this every time i use it i don't think you would need to every single time but you just don't want it setting too long with the dirty water still in there so i think it's all going to work out pretty well pretty excited to use it all and like i mentioned earlier these are going to be fine i just wanted a bag where i can store a little bit more water i can filter more through this and another thing I'll probably do, depending on where I'm at, if water is kind of scarce, I'll go ahead and fill up all my water bottles with clean water. And then if I don't have anywhere else to store clean water, I can put this in my backpack full of dirty water. That way, say I run through my water bottles, I'm like, oh shoot, I can't find any more water. You know, it's, it's another three miles away, whatever it might be. This can be sitting in my pack. Yeah, it's a little extra weight, but I would rather play it safe have plenty of water on me at all times that's another 96 uh, ounces right there that I can have that would still be dirty that way once the, the clean water is gone pull this out of my pack put it in my water bottles and I'll be good to go for quite a bit more more time so that's just how I'm gonna run it I figured I would share it with you guys like I say wanting to keep building on this uh, kind of gear list uh, prep list for my elk hunting trip backcountry trip uh, make sure and stay tuned for more gonna have one on my stove cooking stove uh, Gonna kind of run through what I'm gonna be using on that and then before we get ready and leave I'll make sure and do a full uh, Bag dump on the exo mountain pack that I'm using and just kind of go through everything that I'm taking with me So we're getting close getting excited. You guys make sure and stay tuned for more as always happy hunting be safe. See ya. Bye